Dalton anything this time. And H2K, full knowledge of that Infernal Drake going down, chose instead to put their pressure on the mid lane. Mithy, though, is going to have to be careful. Cask is up and available for Yankos. We'll get knocked back into the team. Knockdown comes in, but Mithy is going to drop first blood for H2K. Devin's running right back to the mid lane, but it looks like H2K not looking to give up a second Infernal Drake in this game, especially when it could be all about scaling. Trick going to run forward, not going to get the steal. Still looking for the aggressive play, though. Will get locked up. Single person knock up from Mithy. But it's going to continue. There's expect on the backside moving forward. That's going to be the Cataclysm. Suddenly, Sven is here as well, dishing out the damage. Kill down on the chain. No one left to protect Nuclear if he goes forward. Forward. But Perks is the one who has to be scared. He may just get popped. Heal comes out to save him. Looking for the disengage. Odawamna gonna get one. He's about to go mega. Will he go over the wall? No flash means they have to back off, but it's just the one for one. Has already been maximized. Now G2, will they force a Baron play? It looks like it. Room for a bit more. Odawamna is stacking up the Fury, though. They have to be careful, but this one is getting burned down quite quickly. Trick and expect dishing out decent damage. Fen on the back line as well. 3k and getting lower. Odawamna going forward. That's the Meganar, but he's only gonna connect on one. Fen's left untouched. Has not been cc The Weaver's Dang wall. wall breaking up the fight. Bevavin moving forward, but Perks. Can hit up as much as he can. Che trying to save the day. Get Noda Wamne out of there. Trick on the way out as well. Fevavin finally going to find a kill. Yanko's leaping forward. Where is the follow-up? Not going to get a kill. They're firing back. Expect actually going to take down Yanko. At the end of the day, still just a one-for-one. One. Baron alive and well. No one is walking away with anything. How does no one die in these fights? They're oh, so close. Chase. Make it taken down. Cass going to get out. Nuclear's in trouble too. This is bad news for H2K. G2. They're going to set their sights on that Baron. It may just be an easy take for the team. And H2K are just kiting on the back line. Oh, That's but Trick's maybe getting caught, caught out. Bear buff's important, but not if you can plant push the waves. That's the first pick for H2K. Sven now the one in trouble. Mithy going to do what he can to save. On the way in. Fevin looking for the kill. That's going to be it. Leap forward. Mithy next on the menu. H2K, they're firing back. Power Uncontested. Line. Using it as a sieging tool. That means the tower should be able to drop in G2's favor, but Sven starting to back off. Has to be careful. Locked up immediately. The QSS is going to take him to safety. Keep your eyes on Odo. He's knocked up, but he's going to turn Mega in a moment. What can he do? Find a little bit of time. Wow, G2 just going to pick him off. Now Trick is on the hunt. Leaping forward. Looking for a little bit more. Trying to find the disengage. Flash forward from Mythic. Cuts of blows. Che will get locked up. Will he get the chance to activate the thick skin? Buy himself a bit of time. He will, but the shield is decaying. Oh! Goes, expect that's the start of the fight that they wanted. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Trick. Looking for a little bit more. Kills across the board. G2 may just be able to end it here. Beautiful knockup from Expect. Landing onto three members. G2 getting multiple kills. And with the Baron buff only now running out, they're looking to take oh, game one. A lot of pressure on Febovin's shoulders. But one Cassidy is not enough. H2K may have fired back after that Baron. But G2 still found a way to put it to use. And uh, Febovin spending a little extra time there in the fountain. Contemplating exactly what went wrong for H2K. Because at the end of the day, it was slow. It was was steady no. <laughs> collected from both sides but both teams have a bit of fun at the end of the day but it's g2 who's going to come out on top with that win here comes the Cho'Gath, the knock up the chain cc the silence is going to come in next does manage to get the barrier off but no chance to flash perks is burning down but bye that's the power of the Cho'Gath. tp burn on the side of h2k very quick teleport coming out from odo along with the anchors moving to the bottom side they're either going for kills or this early town moving forward Odoamne gonna move in, does get the slowdown. Now the TP is coming in. Mithy buying what time he can, but it may not be enough. Yankos moving forward, the silence going down. Trick, no opportunity to escape the flash forward. Nuclear on the aggressive. Sven moving forward. Oh, surprise, surprise! There's Febovin! That's gonna be two kills picked up for H2K. Parks just doing what he can, but it, man, it's too little, too late. Oh, this is Rumble. Oh, he's actually not gonna clear another wave. He's gonna decide to go back, so he's ready for the TP play. He might even make his way there. But bot lane will be pushed, TP coming in. Yankos may be in trouble here. Rupture is going to go down, is going to hit two. Che flashing up to safety. Yankos is still alive. Mithy is moving forward. He may have a lot of damage immunity, but true Togat can still lead through with the fight. His explosive Sven going to throw him right back out. Oh! Bye-bye! <laughs> nice late night snack there coming in for Yankos. Now the double kill, the Cho'Gath is going off. Odawane may give his life, but he's not going to drop. Everyone from H2K is still alive. That is a 3 for 0 trade. Fantastically, they didn't even need the ulti from Trick. And now the hook lands on to Sven. Goes in. Knock oh. back, chain CC, comes over the wall. What a combo. Yankos is still there. He's looking for the devour. He's just going to give that one over to Nuclear. He's taking his time. Nom, nom, nom. Beef for dinner, folks. H2K going off, but now Odawamne could be the man in trouble. Perks running as best he can. Seismic shove knocks him back. G2 fire back with a kill of their own. 30 seconds. That's already a very low health tower. And they could look for a pick as well. They have a lot of tools around with the Ash of the Thresh. Rupture gonna go down, Mithy in trouble, is pulled back by the Fates Call, but Trick may be the Sacrificial Lamb, the fight starts off, Feveman is locked down, G2 looking to get a kill back now, Angos knocked This up. is good. Not gonna survive the tower, G2 looking to turn and burn, looking to bring it back. 
Waiting on the flag and drag from Expect. Just gonna run forward, keeps the auto attack up. TP now coming in, flayed back, but no, Expect with the flawless timing on the flag and drag. And let's see if Trick can still save this at G2. Could all come down to this. So much CC, every member of H2K ready to interrupt Trick before he can get into that pit. But are they gonna do it in time? Yankos is the Cho'Gath. He has the Feast, he has the, no Feast actually, just a Smite Trick moving forward. Oh. Can he get it? Yankos gonna take it down in the end, a close call. But H2K gonna secure the Baron. Perks has to be careful, playing with fire right now, running out of mana. Mythy may just have given his life for this contest. Is gonna get taken down. H2K in absolute control. True damage. Feast doing 1,300. Oh, now the fight's gonna get started off. Trick has been picked off. G2 had to come to fight for the Baron, but can they win the fight now? Oh, Going Sven. on the side, Oduwamne looking for a little bit more opportunity on the back side. Mithy's been knocked up, they're trying to disengage. Sven's still alive and well, but he has to run. Yankos is looking to devour him. Is he gonna have enough damage? Perks, you cannot make it out of there. H2K. Crushing the fight, and <laughs> it was grim from G2 to the start, but H2K just continued to execute. Clean ace, five for zero, H2K, they find the dominant win over G2, and they're gonna find the game. An incredibly dominant game coming in from H2K. They are gonna move in, they are gonna take down the Nexus, they are going to tie up the series and bring us to that game three. by the jungler, it's usually it's the Elise that you identify as that terrifying dive duo. But oh. Oduwamne moving forward, may just set Trick up for success. The flash forward, the body slam moving in. That's gonna be first blood over to expect, and a great start for G2. At this point, you just concede it, but TP in the bottom lane, fed Renekton, oh, here he comes. Renekton on the way, Dominus available. What can they do? The chain CC, it's gonna be perfect. Nuclear, there's no chance to escape. He's just too strong, one kill, two going over. One for the Renekton, one for the Caitlyn, and G2 just keeping this ball rolling. Fantastic. Cajone is to dive Fevavin at this point in the game. Braum is there to back him. I do really small thing, but it just it makes me laugh thinking about ooh, ulti and mid. Moving up. Body block coming in from Trick. Ulti going to come out from the Cassio, but Yanko's definitely still in trouble. The Caitlyn more than happy to clean that one up. Trick gonna nab it in the end, and H2K. A death here, a death there against a winning G2 is definitely not what you could afford to do. Yankos playing with fire here. He's gonna get aggressive. Oh. Shen engage coming. Spent doing what he can to disengage. Trap goes in. Gravity field now. Oduwamni's knocked back to the team. Flash back out. Expect is in the back line. That is a fed Renekton, but the chain CC comes in. Minty says no. Out comes Here the comes Chaos Dog. Thorn is dropped yet. Yeah, Tricky is in trouble. H2K, Ooh. can they turn it? Perks on the front line. Now Fevavin is in trouble. He looks like he might get taken down. Perks is running to the team. Sven is untouched. And G2 are unstoppable. And Perks just melts through the lineup of H2K. Everything was looking so promising, but it all falls apart. Bye bye, Nuke. Clear. Ace in a hole does not get a chance to connect because it is the twin fang from Perks that will be the death sentence for that little void puppy. G2 crush the fight. This next is desperation as they try to find an opportunity to go in onto Perks, but it's not going to happen. H2K are falling apart. G2 just continue to pressure forward. The front line of H2K is down. The engagement is lost. H2K, they're struggling as G2 go for the final fight. The exhaust. Che tries to find the disengage. It's expected in the back line. Fevavin, the Shen will try to save him, but it's too little, too late. Expect now dominating. He has yet to die in this game, and no one is going to kill him today as Mithy pulls him out. G2 taking down two members may just look to end the game right here. They've lost the Baron, but they have the minion waves they need to end the game. Only Shen alive, only nuclear there left to keep the scratch going. G2, their eyes are on the inhib. Will they bother trying to end? Second inhibitor falls. Super minions are not going to be there yet for the team. The first wave may come on the bottom side. They may not need it. Sven continuing to auto. Keep your eyes on nuclear. Fevavin spawning in 20 seconds. Options running out for H2K. They're already behind, but now Trick is looking Huge. to start the fight. Knocking back. Expect in the middle of everything. Sven laying down some traps, setting up the fight for himself. He is untouchable. Perks now on a killing spree. Options out for H2K. G2 dominating the opposition here in game three. And there is just nothing left. Yankos, desperation. Fevavin trying to get something, but there are no options. There is no escape. G2. Honestly, could just end right now, but they are having a little bit of fun with this one. Finally, it looks like it may come out. Are they gonna let Perks die? Doesn't look like it's the case. Ladies and gentlemen, G2 take down H2K.